Welcome back to Lockhart on this cold Sunday morning. It's a brisk 56 here at Lockhart Stadium. For those of you that are watching up north, I know 56 is not cold, but for us down here, it's cold. We're here on the east side, on the southeast side, and you can see over here, we've got the beginnings of that uh, south end structure. We saw on the north last week that same structure being built. Now they're uh, building it here on the south. So we pan over, you see a, a lot more of the roofing uh, has gone up on the west. Get a really nice view here. Some more of these solid sheets have gone up across two more sections to, to really block out any kind of rain there. So now that is totally enclosed as far as the roof goes. And over here on the east, look at the stands. We are just about ready to get some seats in there. So now, I mean, that the, the you really see the foundation of those bleachers. Get some nice seats going in in the very near future. From outside the fence, if I zoom in, you really can't see it. Maybe a tiny bit, you see a little bit of grass. But we all know, if you unless you're living under a rock, you know that uh, grass was installed last week. I had the invite to come out, but uh, it's hard to get away from work. But we know it's uh, some Latitude Bermuda grass. It was purchased from a grass farm up in West Palm Beach. The media and a few, I think, of supporters groups, a few members, got to go and walk the field as it was getting installed on last, uh, I think it was Tuesday. So now we have uh, several months for it to really to kind of become a very firm and nice surface for a playing surface. It's going to look great. You know, from the view from inside the field, as opposed to outside the fence like I am, uh, it really does start to feel like a, a real stadium. It is truly amazing. We got guys up there dressed nice and warm. As I said, it's a little chilly. And... Uh, Looks like he's doing his own little Instagram type thing up there. It, just a second ago, he was he was uh, bolting down some metal, but now it looks like he's doing his own little uh, Instagram thing. Wants to show everybody what he's doing on his job. Just some odd things that I notice. I don't know if they're important, but as you see here, we've got like I've been talking about. We've got the uh, the metal going in where you're going to stand on the bleachers, and then nothing here. And then we got another section over here. And uh, I think that's my section right there. That's where I'll be sitting. That's where uh, me and the family will be will camping out right, right about there. But it's interesting how they have some blank spaces, just the way they decide to work. It's, uh, you know, it's odd to me. Still on the east side, as we pan over here, you see that north end metal structure that'll sit just behind uh, the stands. It looks to be about the same amount of work that was done last week. I don't see any real progress on that this week. But again, if we zoom in, you could see, you can see the grasses in there. Look at that. Last week we saw them watering the dirt, preparing it. The grass is in. They're not watering it right now. But the grass is in. Nice Bermuda. Another pretty cool view from the north end corner, northeast corner. I like looking at these boulders here, these blocks. I know people make fun of me for calling them boulders, whatever, these big rocks. It really feels like a big construction site, looking through the weeds, very Florida. As we see Lockhart, still named Lockhart as far as the piping. Anybody that complains that uh, the stadium will no longer be called Lockhart, just remember, it's written on all the piping. It'll forever be Lockhart. For the first time, we've got one of these big Caterpillar machines on the outside of the fence. Gonna start doing some sidewalk work maybe, I don't know. 
but uh, now they've got this big metal plate over where the sidewalk was. So this is the beginning of um, uh, something. We are now on the back training pitches over here, right in front of the what would be the high school field. And you can see in between the fields, they've now added some uh, foliage, some some bushes to uh, separate. Yeah, you can see they're planting the trees right now as we speak. Be a very green space. It'll look great. Over here on the back end of the property, they have pushed out this fence all the way to the road. So it's now uh, taken over the sidewalk. As you can see, they're getting ready to lay some, some new uh, sidewalk, some new walkways. Uh, over just on the other end of this fence. I don't know if that'll be a public sidewalk or just a walkways for the actual facility, but it looks like they're about ready to lay some there. And then again over here as well, as we look through the fence. All right, now we're on the west side by the training facility in the west, uh, northwest section. And we can see here all this dirt has been laid over what was gravel last week. This is the last step, I, I believe, before we see some sod going in back here. This will be the main training pitch. So we're really close to seeing some sod back here. You know, this week, it's all about the grass. They've added some concrete slabs back here. These are new. You get a big view here of what we were just seeing of the uh, dirt going out on that main training pitch. And when we pan back, to the side here of the training facility, you can see some of that yellow stuff that uh, was on the that's on the other side. We saw them putting it up on the other side. These big exterior, uh, you know, things that uh, they, they're gonna put. I guess the attach the walls to it, the stucco or whatever it goes on it. You guys know how much I know about construction, zero. But uh, the you know process of putting up the exterior walls is now moved on to the side of the west the west side of the of the training facility and now we see they've completed the yellow stuff that's what we're gonna call it you know that's a technical term yellow stuff they've completed that here in the back end here where we saw them starting it last week and now they it looks like they've also are continuing it to, to, towards the east side of the training facility as well. As I walk by here every week, I'm always curious and interested in seeing the kind of garbage I see. I've seen these glasses here every week for the last month or more. Every single week, nobody's picked them up. Somebody lost their glasses. Somebody's out there walking blind. West side of the stadium now. As we zoom in, you can see they've got the stairways in now. So these guys could actually just climb up now. They don't necessarily need to take the Mount Monster uh, cherry pickers or anything. Got the fork, uh, it's got some stairs in there. That's how you guys uh, on the west side will be getting up to some of your uh, sections there. We also, if you see here, the beginning of some stairs that'll go in between the aisles is just peeking out there. There's one over here and one way over there. There's one right there as well. They're just like the beginnings of the, the stairways that uh, you'll walk down from the top level uh, down to uh, some of the seats. Last week we noticed this uh, paved parking lot here and uh, last week there weren't any curbs. We suspected that there would be this week and there are. So they've put in some nice curbs here in the back uh, I'm sure next week we'll start to see some trees getting in those uh, planters there, uh, just like we have on the other side over on the east. So some progress here on this west side parking lot. As we move along on the west side, a little more northward, we see that all this uh, area here has been flattened and they're about ready to lay some asphalt to continue that parking lot. We know they lay these parking lots rather quickly. It's all staked out where they will have, I assume, those uh, planters and those uh, curbs. So I would expect next week or the week after to see this all paved. Before I said we were moving northward, uh, you know, I'm not great at directions, we're moving south. Now on the southwest corner, 
of Lockhart for Laurel Stadium, Inter Miami Stadium, whatever you want to call it. Like I said before, it'll always, forever, be immortalized with the Lockhart Stadium brand, at least in the piping. These buildings on the south, it does feel like uh, they've done a little bit more here. They look a little more uh, secure, firm, a little more foundational, whatever. They just, uh, I think there's some work that's been done here. As we walk around the entire facility, uh, I'd say majority of the work, 98% of it, is happening over on the east this week. Really working on those, uh, putting in the bleachers there. No roof yet on the east, but that should be coming uh, very soon. Well, that's it this week. It's all bleachers and grass. We've got bleachers up on the east. I think we're really close to getting uh, seats over there. And uh, we've got uh, some sod being laid. And in the back training pitch, it looks like they're just about ready to lay some sod back there as well. That wraps up this week. We will see you right here next week. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.